Hello everyone, I'm Rebecca Keppel. In today's video, I am sharing a whole bunch of supplies that the stamp market sent me from their January release, which is just like the stamp market, absolutely gorgeous, and just like I like Valentine's supplies, absolutely able to be used throughout the year. They sent me a ton of stamps and dies, so I really wanna show you every single thing that is new, and I wanna make some cards. So we're just gonna jump into the card making and I'm gonna share the new supplies along the way. First, I wanna share a couple of card making supplies that they just came out with. This is the stamp and scratch pad. You can see that it is a size of 11 by nine and you have the grid on one side and then the to-do list on the other. And it's one of those that you can use it. It's pretty thick, so you can use it several times and then recycle, tear off the pad, the first paper, and then recycle it. So these are the detailed blending brushes. They come three per pack, a small, medium and then a large but it's still pretty small they are really soft packed bristles and they can be used for lots of different things including adding details to a die cut or even using on a stencil in small areas now for the collection this is the little love six by eight pattern paper pad you get two of each of these sheets in a pack and you can see there are tons of very versatile designs that don't just need to be used on Valentine's Day. They can be used throughout the year. Now there's gonna be a part two of this video. I'm gonna hold off on sharing the layering florals and I'll share that in a video soon because I wanted the stamps and dies and the layering florals to get their own due. So just stay tuned for that. The layering florals will be coming in a video soon. First up, we're gonna use the heart to heart cover die. Now this is an A2 panel die, cuts out that A2 panel and all of those tiny little hearts. You can see I cut it here on a nice bright pink pink cardstock so you can see all of the hearts cut out. Don't forget to save those hearts. Those are great little confetti pieces, especially when you cut them out of cardstock because they're pink on both sides. This is the Heart and Hugs stamp set. You can see you can stamp this large heart with the hugs cut out of it, or there's the scripty hugs on its own, and there's some sentiments that go along with that. You can also get a die set, the Heart and Hugs die set, and that will cut out that large heart but it will also cut out the scripty hugs and the script hello. So it's just the sub sentiments that you would have to cut out on your own. Last but not least, you can get the heart and hugs foil plate. So you can foil that heart with the hugs not foiled, and then you can also cut out that foiled heart. So I will share all of these in this video later. You can also foil the thin scripty hugs and then cut it out with that matching die. So here you go. Here's the hugs heart. It's been foiled on stamp market pattern, uh, stamp market colorful cardstock, and then die cut with that outside heart. And then here's the hugs, which has been foiled on white cardstock and then cut out with that coordinating die. So you can see there's lots of options for you to either purchase just the stamp set or the dies and the foil plates as well. So I always like to cut these cover plate dies out of white cardstock. And I'm not gonna do this today, but I really love the look of the white on white. It's hard to see in a video, so I won't do that today, but it is a really delicate, subtle look for your background. And look at that, it really makes that foiled heart with the hugs shine. So today I'm gonna use it on some of the pattern paper. And this is really cute. When you look closely, each little heart has a grid because it's a grid pattern paper. So each little heart has a little white grid. I'm gonna use some tape runner to adhere the heart panel die down to that little grid pattern paper background. And then I'm going to use that foiled heart and hugs. And then I'm gonna use a sub sentiment. I'm gonna stamp it in the stamp markets black ink. This is my favorite black ink. It stamps little sub sentiments and all things really crisp 
clean and super black. So I stamped and kisses. I also grabbed the little lips from the stamp set and I just am going to fussy cut the little lips out and then trim the little sub sentiment and kisses. I'm gonna pop up that foiled heart on top of the background that we created with the cover die and the pattern paper. And then I'm just going to pop up the right hand side of the sub sentiment because I'm gonna lay the left hand side on top of that foiled heart. So I only need a little piece of foam square on the right hand side of that sub sentiment and then I'll just rest the left hand side on top of the foil heart which is also popped up with the same exact foam squares. I'm going to pop up those little lips on top as well. Really simple card to create but has so much detail and fun to it. And again you could use this all year round. Here's the scattered hearts cover die. So these are more those kind of of hand-drawn looking hearts, which I absolutely love. You can see they are several different sizes as well, and I saved the little positive pieces for confetti as well. And this is the Hugs layering die. You can see you can cut out a scripty Hugs word, and it also has a shadow. This looks great on a, versa, a vertical A2 or a horizontal A2, so it fits both ways perfectly. So I cut the scattered hearts out of white. I also cut them out of raspberry cardstock from the stamp market, and I was gonna use one or the other, and I decided to use them both together. So if you slightly offset them, by putting the white just above a little bit, you create this really cool two-toned scattered hearts background. So I'm gonna put a little tape runner all around. I'm being lazy, I'm not using liquid adhesive. Probably be easier with this technique because then you can slide it into place. So you just want it just slightly offset towards the top because if you do it too much, it's gonna show through a hole at the top of the hearts and you want those hearts to be the white cut out with the little raspberry peeking through at the top. Now I'm gonna take that whole thing, I did trim off the little raspberry that was hanging off the bottom. I'm gonna put a little tape runner here and there, and then lay that on top of a pink piece of cardstock as well. So now we have three colors going on here, which I really love the look of that. Very, again, very simple to do, but adds a nice touch. I'm gonna to cut out the hugs shadow out of fun foam and then I'm going to use that layered piece I had two pieces of cardstock layered on top of each other of the hugs script and then the shadow and I'm going to use some liquid adhesive to add it to the fun foam. I love with these scripty dies that you can cut the scripty shadow out of fun foam. That way you can pop up the whole sentiment. So I am gonna use a strong liquid adhesive. Whatever your favorite is fine, but that fun foam does need a strong liquid adhesive like the Thermoweb Ultra Bond. And I like the pen format because then you're basically just drawing along the lines of the hugs. And I'm gonna lay that down and let it dry, but just look at how cute that that is super, super simple again, all die cutting, but so much fun. Okay, this card, we're gonna use the Happy Valentine's Day. It comes in a stamp set. There's also dies that you can buy to cut out the Happy Valentine's Day, the Valentine and Be My. And there's also a foil plate that you can buy that foils that Happy Valentine's Day. And then if you also get those regular dies, you can cut that out as well. And that's what I did here. I foiled it on white cardstock and then cut it out with those coordinating dies. I'm gonna use the tag paper from the pattern paper pad and I'm going to cut a couple of different tags. I'm going to cut a large tag here and these are really easy to cut out. You can just you line them up in your paper trimmer and just cut right where the edge is between those two tags. And then I like to use my paper trimmer just to get a really straight line. I put the corner right up to that edge of the trimmer there and just hold it in place and then trim off those excess. For the holes, I like to use the We Are Memory Keepers multi-hole punch because there's so many options in this one punch. There's five different size holes and you just rotate right to left to pick the hole that is going to be perfect for the tag that you're cutting out. So basically we wanna pick a hole that is going to show through the white of the tag 
but not too much of the color. So we're gonna cut out the white and you can see there it's easy to line up and see. And I just have a tiny bit of the orange on the sides, but mostly white that I'm cutting out. So I just press that and then you have all of the white cut out of the tag. I'm gonna do the same thing with the largest hole for that large tag there. And then I'm going to use a smaller hole for the small tag as well. Now that they're all cut out, I want to hang them on the swoop of the Y from Valentine's Day. So I am going to trim the large tag down just a little bit. I'm layering two pieces of colorful cardstock on top of each other. The largest one is A2. The smaller one I did not cut down to four by five and a quarter. I just cut a teeny bit off. I'm popping up the sentiment once again with foam, fun foam. And then now I'm gonna string all of the tags together and then through the swoop of the Y and then just tie a simple bow. Super, super cute, really easy to do. And then again, liquid adhesive behind the fun foam so that you make sure that it really sticks and stays stuck down a nice, strong liquid adhesive, whatever you have in your stash. And I glued that down and then I want those little tags to show each of them a little bit and I want them to be popped up. So I'm after the fact, <laughs> I'm putting a little foam square behind them and then just placing them exactly where I want them. Yeah, probably would have been easier to do before I tied them together, but maybe not, I don't know. So <laughs> once I have all three of them popped up on foam squares, then they will look sort of organic, but they will stay put and I know that they'll look exactly the way I want them. Once I did that, I realized I had forgotten about that orange piece of pattern paper. So I lifted up the bottom tag. It was just slightly adhered down, lifted it up and put a piece of that pattern paper because I just love that orange with the pink. I just think it's a fun color combination for Valentine's Day. For the next card, we're gonna use the Love Potion Shaker Die. So you can see all the dies that are included in this set. You get a frame shaker for the Love Potion, you get a background, you get a string, you get a tag, you get a large heart, you get a little reinforcement for the tag. I mean, there's so much included in this set. It is super, super cute. This is the Love and Confetti die, and you could just run this through with colorful cardstock or even metallic cardstock or even glitter cardstock, and it's going to cut out. You can see the right hand square cuts out hearts and dots, and the left hand square cuts out just different uh, phrases like love and XO. This is the Bunch of Notes stamp set. There's also dies that you can purchase to cut out any sentiment that is bolded and large. The smaller sub sentiments, you would just cut into a sentiment strip, but those larger ones, you can get dies to cut them out, which I think is nice because then you can pop them up. So this is a piece of cardstock, A2 white cardstock that I had cut some things out of, but since it's gonna go on a card base, I'm gonna put my pattern paper that I cut down to four by five and a half on top of that die cut white cardstock. This is the back. Now you could just use this, the little bottle shape, and create on top of it if you didn't wanna make a shaker. If you do wanna make a shaker, then you need to cut out some fun foam out of the frame die. So I cut out two pieces of white fun foam and I'm gonna adhere them to each other. That's going to create the shaker shape on this card front. Now there's a little bit of liquid glue at the bottom there, so you wanna avoid that as much as you can or let it dry before you fill it or before you shake it around. So I'm avoiding it right now. I'm just putting all of these little shaker goodies from the confetti and from the little hearts that are included in the Love Potion die inside this shaker shape. And I'm just gonna really fill it up. A couple of different colors of cardstock and some pattern paper. I realized the vellum wasn't letting me see what was inside and I really wanted to. So I'm gonna use a metal shim to cut out a piece of acetate of the large bottle shape that is what I used for the background. That way it's going to sit on top of the frame and once you glue that together, nothing will come out. Then I'm going to use some glue all around that cardstock frame that I cut out and glue that on top of the fun foam to customize the shaker and to cover up that white fun foam. Now this little string is so cute. You could tuck it behind the bottle if you had already done that, but since I didn't, I just 
and use some liquid glue to adhere it down to the neck of the bottle with the little tag, with the little reinforcement on it. So many cute details in this set. I can't even tell you, so, so cute. Once that was done, I decided to just trim off the excess string on the side there. I'm using a heart to just add a little XOXO to the tag. And then I found this little scattered heart from the white that I had cut out and I, it was on my desk. So I just added it to the tag too. Have fun just layering on top of each other and just making the cutest things. And again, this could be used all throughout the year if you don't put Valentine's Day on it. So I am going to stamp my sentiment in black ink on a extra piece of white cardstock and it says love you and cutie. I'm gonna use the dies to cut out love you and I'm gonna use a paper trimmer to turn cutie into a little sub sentiment and glue them all to the clear part of the bottle. And now you can see it is a really fun shaker on my card. This is the 3D Perfect Posy Large Die. So you get a three petal flower, you get a flower center and two leaves. I cut out two different colors of flower petals and I used the apple cardstock from the stamp market to cut out each of the leaves. So I'm gonna use one of the detailed blending brushes with some apple ink to do some ink blending on the edges and on the details that the die cuts on these leaves. And and because it's such a nice, fine, small brush, you can really just get on the edges here. And then you can see that the lines that the die cuts on the leaf, I'm adding a little ink to really accent them so they stand out. And it just makes it look even more real, kind of, even though it's a very whimsical flower and adds just a little bit of interest to it. I'm gonna use some ocean ink because this color is ocean, the petals of this cardstock. And I think the ocean looks good on the breeze as well. So I'm using that to accent the outsides of the petals. And then I'm gonna use it from the center towards the outside to kind of make some detail again on that flower. I'm gonna pop up the different petals on top of each other and then I'm gonna just fold them. I'm gonna fold the bottom ones down and the top ones up just to give it a little bit more dimension because it is 3D, you can do that. And there are some cut lines or score lines on those petals to show you where to fold. Here again on the leaves, there are some score lines. So I'm gonna put a foam square on one end of the leaf and then just tuck it behind that flower. You'll remember that I only used one foam square in the center of the flower, which gives me tons of space to add these leaves where I want them. So the last thing I'm gonna do here is cut out a piece of fun foam with the hugs die so that I have some dimension on my foiled hugs sentiment and then use a little bit of liquid adhesive behind that and just lay it on the flower and then let it dry and it will stick. I love how simple this is, but how vibrant. This is the Love Cover Die. Now it is a little bit larger than an A2 piece of cardstock, so you can shift it from the left to the right and trim off the excess, or you could put it in a slightly larger envelope. Your choice completely. You can see you would totally be able to trim the sides and still see that it says love. So if you wanted to stick to an A2 envelope, you could do that. I'm scoring an eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock in half at five and a half. And then I'm gonna place that love die on that fold, the L is on the fold and it's hanging off the fold. I'm gonna run it through my die cut machine and when I pull it out of the die cut machine, it has turned into a love shaped card, which is just so much fun. Now I know there's not a ton of room inside to write a message, but I just think it's so unique and fun. So I'm gonna stamp a sub sentiment that says you bunches and cut that out. And then I'm gonna pop those up on some foam squares that have been cut in half. And I'm gonna place that right in the center between the LO and the VE. And then I'm going to take that medium sized heart from the Love Potion die set and I'm going to cut out some of the excess pattern paper that I didn't use when I cut out the top there and pop up some hearts on that love as well. So you can see it's now a love shaped card or you could hang this from a gift bag or a present and then just have the to and from on the inside. 
I'd love to know what your favorite supply was this month or which card was your favorite. Let me know in the comments below. If you love seeing new product videos like this so you can decide what's your favorite to buy, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe and hit the bell so you can be notified every time I have a new video available. As always, I want to thank you so much for spending time with me today. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you again soon. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, not much. No, okay. <laughs> and, oops. never mind. <laughs>